video, we are going to be doing a yoga sequence for runners, focusing on that post-run recovery. So we're going to be working on stretching the legs, the hips, releasing that lower back so that hopefully you can get back out there soon and enjoy your next run. Look for modifications of certain poses on the screen that I thought might be helpful. To do these modifications, you'll want to have handy some yoga blocks, a blanket, and a yoga strap. If you don't have a strap, you can use a belt or a thin towel, even a hand towel, anything that you can loop around your foot and hold on to both ends with. If you would like to see more videos like this one, or if you have an idea for a video that you would like to see from me, please let me know in the comments down below. Let's begin in mountain pose, taking a deep breath, and then on your next inhale, we're gonna raise those arms up, overhead to upward salute, gazing at the hands, and exhale, forward fold, bending the knees as much as you want to. Step the right foot back, taking your time, come up to warrior one. That front knee should be directly above the ankle, facing forward and not in towards the center of your mat. Opening up to warrior two, you can widen your stance, chest is lifted, shoulder blades down and back, arms parallel to your mat. Straightening out that front leg, reach forward to triangle. To modify, you can place that lower hand on a block for more stability. Hands on either side of that front foot to pyramid, keeping that front leg as straight as you can. Again, we're on blocks to modify. Bending the front knee to a runner's lunge. Let's lower the back knee, top of the foot, raising the arms in low lunge. Lowering the arms, we're going to pull the right foot up and pull it in with our hand or with a strap for a quad stretch. Release bringing both hands to the inside of that front foot. We're gonna drop that left knee in lizard, coming down to one forearm or both. Option to raise the back knee and rock back and forth. Returning to low lunge. We're gonna send those hips back and up to a half split, keeping that front leg straight. As we raise our toes, we can place them back down on the mat, raise them again before we fold over that front leg. Coming back up for a bit of relief, and then fold down one more time. Shimmy that front leg to pigeon. Checking that back foot to make sure the toes are pointing straight back and not in towards the center of the mat. We can stay up or fold over that front leg to get a little deeper into the hip stretch. As a variation, you can pull that back leg up to keep stretching those quads, or to modify, you can place a block under that left hip. Making your way to downward facing dog, we're going to repeat on the other side, stepping that right foot forward. Take your time coming up to warrior one. Opening up to warrior two. Straightening that front leg, reach forward to triangle. Hands to either side of that front foot to pyramid.
for runner's lunge. Lowering the back knee, top of the foot. Arms up in low lunge. Releasing the arms to pull that left foot up for a quad stretch. Release, bringing both hands to the inside of the front foot, dropping the right knee, coming down to one forearm or both in lizard. Option to raise the back knee, shifting front and back. Returning to low lunge, send the hips back and up to your half split, raising the toes and pressing them back into the mat. Folding over that front leg, releasing and repeat. To pigeon. making sure those back toes are pointing straight back and not in towards the center of the mat. Take your time in pigeon to do what feels right for your body right now. Make your way to downward facing dog. You can pedal out your heels if you feel tight in the back of the legs. Gazing at your thumbs, step forward to a forward fold, bending your knees as much as you want to. You can hug your elbows and sway back and forth. Lower your hips and hug your knees. Keeping your heels flat on the mat as much as possible to work that dorsiflexion. Pressing back up to standing. Now raise your heels and lower down on your toes this time. Hands heart center. Or for more stability you can take your hands down to the mat on either side of you. I'll turn to show you what this looks like from the front. Feel free to hold this toe stretch for as long as you feel you need to or to release early if you feel that you're pulling too much in the arches. With the hands down for stability. Making your way to seated. Pull your heels together in a bound angle pose. To modify, you can sit on a blanket, pulsing the knees up and down before pressing them down into the mat. Opening up to a seated wide angle. Adjust your hips as necessary. We're going to place the hands down on the mat ahead of us and slide them forward, keeping your back as straight as you can for as long as you can. Reach forward. A variation here is you can hold onto your ankles or your toes and pull your chest down towards your mat. Pull the left foot in. We're going to go into a side stretch, reaching that left arm up and over. If you can grab onto the toes with it, feel free to do so. Otherwise, just stretch it up and over as much as you can. Release. We're going to flip that left leg to a hurdler stretch. Turn towards your right leg, fold over.
Coming back up, we're gonna repeat on the other side, pulling that right foot in, stretching over to the left, Flip that right leg, hurdler stretch, folding over the left. Coming back up, we're going to make our way down onto our backs, raising both legs up. Keeping them semi-relaxed, you can begin to rotate your ankles one way then the other. Lowering the left foot down to the mat, we're going to pull the right leg in towards us. Holding onto the foot with our toes, or we can use a strap. Keep that leg as straight as you can, but a slight bend in the knee is okay. We're straightening out the left leg. Bend the right knee, left hand guides that knee over to the left side. Try to keep both shoulders connected to the mat here. If you feel that right side lifting, come out of your twist just a little bit until you feel it reconnect to the mat. Coming out of that twist, right ankle over the left knee, we're going to pull the left leg into a reclined pigeon. Here you can straighten that left leg and bend it. You can hold it in one position or the other depending on what your body needs right now. Good, we're going to repeat on the other side, right foot down, pull that left leg in. Straighten out the right leg, pull the left knee to the right for your reclined twist. Left ankle over right knee for reclined pigeon. Straightening out the leg, or keeping it as it was. Releasing, hugging the knees, do a little rock from side to side. Cross at the ankles, holding on to either foot. We're going to rock to seated to easy pose. Hands heart center. Taking a few deep breaths to finish up. Thank you for stretching with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Save it to repeat after your next run and share it with a fellow runner.